So I talk quite a lot about positive outcomes and I want you to right now put in what you think positive outcomes mean. In fact, what does positive mean to you? It really take times like, because we hear positive an awful lot. We need to be positive. And so many clients come in and go, I just want to be positive. I just want to be happy. And I say, okay, that's great. Uh, what does positive happy look like? Because for me, when I use the term positive outcomes, it's actually something you can achieve. You're an actionista. It's about something you can take action on because our brains don't work in negatives. If I say to you, don't think of a pink elephant, that's what's gonna pop into your head. We can't not think of things that I tell you not to think of something. We've kind of got these visual imageries and these sounds and these voices, voices, God, voices, um, going around in our heads all the time. And it's about saying, what is the result I want to achieve? And positive doesn't mean happy. You know, a positive outcome is recognizing you're angry and being able to respond to it. Positive is accepting that you have emotions and that you have a full spectrum of emotions from anger to disappointment to sadness and embracing that it's okay to have those emotions. Do they feel nice? No. Do we like them? No, because no one comes into me and says, I want to feel more sad. They don't. I get it that those emotions don't feel great, but they are necessary for the human brain to function normally. You can't, I've never met anyone, and if you know someone who is 100% happy all the time, because we need the variety of emotions, we need that colour of our emotions. We can't just be one happy, like stress-free, calm person for our whole lives. What is healthy is to accept that you are feeling away and feeling empowered to be able to respond to that in a healthy way. But those positive outcomes doesn't mean happy outcomes, doesn't mean you're going to have this blissful outcome life. It's about the positive outcome is what can you achieve, a tangible thing that you can work forward with. Um, and that's, that's what I want you to approach any situation is, what's the positive outcome? What is the outcome you would like, the actual achievement, the result that you would like to happen from this situation? So when you're having those uncomfortable conversations with a member of, of your team or you're having those uncomfortable conversations with your partner and saying okay what am I hoping to achieve from this conversation and if it's just to tell them how you're feeling and that you're annoyed with them then that's not going to produce a positive outcome there's nothing they can do with your feelings people people I don't know why and it's as a counselor in me it's kind of uh, people don't Oh, I'm going to have to rephrase this because it ain't going to work the way I'm going to say it. But people really don't care about your feelings. They care about their own feelings. Now, in a relationship with a partner, they're probably more invested in how you feel and they hopefully will care that you feel a certain way. But the majority of people that are in this world really only care about how they feel. So often people say, I have to tell them how I feel. And I ask them why. What is the positive outcome that that's going to get you? And if it's to make you feel better, absolutely, then do it. But if it's hoping that by telling them what you're feeling, that they're going to magically go, oh, now I know how you're feeling. I'm going to change for you. We can't elicit change in other people. We can change elicit change in ourselves. So let's create positive outcomes going into those uncomfortable conversations saying, Actually, I am feeling uncomfortable because of this. And by doing this would help me. I don't know, an example of my client sort of saying that whenever her husband comes home, he sort of just is in a really bad mood and it makes her feel on edge and she doesn't know what to say, if it's her or if it's him, and she just wants him to be happy. And, you know, she was told by a counselor, you know, have to tell him how you're feeling, that his response. And I'm saying, okay, well, is you telling him that you're scared and upset about his behavior when he comes in gonna help the situation. Well, did it, she did tried that after seeing a counselor and, and it didn't. All it did was made him feel more guilty, more stressed. He was coming home from work in a bad mood. He was now feeling I'm in a bad mood and I can't be in a bad mood because it upsets my wife and I don't want that. So he was kind of getting stressed. What eventually worked with her when she was working with me is saying, okay, what does he need? I need to ask him, I noticed you're coming in 
and you're stressed and you're in a bad mood and I feel sometimes it's my fault and I don't know if that's the case or not. So tell me what you need, what would be good do you want me? And he kind of came up with actually they needed to give each other like a 20 minute gap. Um, he decided he was going to go and do exercise, she said she was going to use that time to have her time, you know, do her meditation. So they both cleared their space, cleared their fears, and then they came together when they were more focused and ready to be together. Um, and so that's why I say to you, what's the positive outcome? The outcome there was they wanted to be together after a long day at work and be happy. So how do we create that? How do we create that positive outcome? Now think about any aspects of your life where you really get frustrated with someone and you want them to change. And then kind of think, how can I approach that differently? Because what's the outcome I want? What would I like? What would be the ideal scenario where we could help each other get to there? Um, and work with kids doesn't work so well with kids because they don't quite get the, their positive outcome is getting what they want, um, especially young ones, maybe older ones, not so much. But it's about you saying, what's the, out what's the outcome that would work for me, that would be positive, that would be helpful? So let me know about if you're struggling with this and there's any situations, drop a comment below and tell me, give me some idea about what it is that you are struggling to find that positive outcome.